What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to show your FPS as a widget text on your screen uh, for your game. It's going to be a very easy tutorial to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so I mean there's two ways of doing it. Um, if you want to just show it in the viewport, you can just go over here in the uh, in the three squares here. Uh, and then you can just go into show uh, FPS. And of course you can also show all the stats. And you can see that right now I have like 50 FPS on the viewport. But of course this only for the editor and for the engine, not for the final build of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and disable this and integrate it into widget. So just right click on the content browser. Go into user interface and create a widget blueprint. Now what we're going to do is just create a normal user wi uh, widget blueprint. Use a uh, WB, so widget blueprint and underscore FPS. And there we go. So now when we open, what we're going to do is add a canvas panel into our um, widget. There we go. And come closer. And then we are just going to add a normal text on the corner of the screen. Now you decide in which corner. For example, you can just be over here. Um, and then you can just uh, to, you know, have an idea of how it would look. Just put, um, you know, I don't know, uh, 60 and then FPS, right? So there we go. So now what we have to do is place the anchors on each uh, corner of the text. So it will basically scale up into any screen size resolution. So when it's done, what we have to do is bind the text. So just go over here. Uh, where it says bind just click it and create binding so this will basically set up the uh, you know assign the text that's going to be in here so what we're going to do is just create a new variable um for the fps so you just create a new variable called fps and then it's going to be basically an integer because we don't want to have decimals on our fps so now what we're going to do is just drag it in here into our bindings and then we're going to get it and now what we're going to do is show it on here but if we want to have fps at the end of our text so we're going to make a format text okay so in here what we have to have is a um some this brackets semi brackets i don't know squirrely brackets i think they're called and then just go ahead and place the um fps int right this is going to be the int for fps and you can see that we have a new value so basically we can plug in this over here and it will add into the text and then i'm going to execute this aligned but at the end what we're going to do is add fps because i want to show the fps at the end okay so now this will basically bind into what we have in the fps but of course the fps right now is empty so we're going to go into the events graph of this widget i'm going to delete everything except the event tick because of course you know that this runs in every frame so we can hit the number of frames per second so uh i think what we do is just a small delay of around you know 0 0.03 seconds um because we just want a close delay and you just get the variable fps set it on here and there we go and then basically in our delta time we can get um how many there's per second so you drag it i'm gonna go ahead and divide this now we're gonna divide it by one but it's going to be the second one which is on here the second value and there we go and then we have to pass it as an int so we can just drag it and it will create this for us which is a truncate node so now this will be all the logic created so now what we're going to do is go to the event graph and just go into the uh, begin play and then in our player character, okay. And then we're gonna say create widget. And then we're gonna select the uh, AUB FPS. And then on in player is gonna be get player controller. And then the return value is gonna be add to viewport. So add the widget into the viewport. So now we press play. You can see that up there in the corner are showing my FPS. Now it's a bit hidden because there's a Thing that appears when you play the game so i'm gonna go ahead and lower it a bit go ahead play and make it full screen you can see how the fps are now appearing on the screen like that and it looks really really cool and if you don't want them to change so quickly anything that you can do is just in the graph in the event take in here just make the delay for example 0.1 and now 
um, you know, they will not flicker as much. Now, you know, you know what I mean, right? Uh, change between values of price. So, you guys, that was it tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, I would really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal and Fact tutorials, so if you want to check them out, go ahead. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.